what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Chicago, Chicago, Chicago. We got to do better. We got 14 people that are being reported hit by gunfire at a funeral. It happened on Tuesday evening. Police say when a black car came speeding by and someone opened fire from inside of the car at funeral attendees. Some of those attendees returned fire. The car crashes, the occupants bail in different directions. Police say they have one person in custody. They are not at this time releasing the condition of the victims. Mind you family that all of this is going on in the middle of a pandemic and a spike in gun violence in Chicago. Just over the weekend, they're reporting 70 people shot. 25 on Monday. Come on, fam. The hell is going on? Let, let, let me tell you something, fam. Let's get this out of the way. First and foremost, black people aren't the only ones doing all this killing. There are other people that are responsible for killing each other not just blacks, but most of it is black people getting killed. But it ain't really just black people doing the killing though. The residents of Chicago suspect that members of law enforcement are heavily involved in the murders of black people. This is what's being reported. This is what the people who live in Chicago are saying. And there is a lot of fear associated with this people coming forward because Chicago police are notorious for stretching their authority. So think about that. I know some of y'all going in on the comments. Now, here's the deal. That statement I just made about the police being involved also, it doesn't excuse the behavior of those black people who are out there killing each other. Not at all. There's a word called self-accountability. So we gotta do our part to make our neighborhoods safe. Make the women and the children and even the men safe in the neighborhood. I mean, I just find it hard to believe that someone is a man and call himself a man and live in fear of people who terrorize his neighborhood. Like, what's so hard about all the men getting together and riding? Because that's what it's going to take. Like, and I know some soldiers out there in, in, in Chicago, but they can't do it all by themselves. I know they're frustrated. Some of them are former gang members, you know, former, you know, street cats that used to be in, you know, be active, very active. So I understand to an extent what's going on. You know, some of them are my friends, but they can't do it all by themselves. And some of them are out there trying. Some of them are act actually out there putting in work, but it's, it is a, this problem, it's bigger than just the neighborhood. It's bigger than just the OGs, this problem is being facilitated by some powerful people. I'm telling you, fam, you can't just look at the surface. You got to look beneath the surface. Now, tensions are also high because you have the protesters and you have authorities who are accusing one another of being violent, uh, especially uh, after 
protesters uh, toppled the, uh, the Christopher Columbus, well, they tried to topple the crystal, Christopher Columbus statue. And Donald Trump, you know, of course, he had to inject himself in it, trying to threaten it. He going to send in the troops. Mayor Life would say, no, you're not. I'm not going to allow you to do that. I'm not going to allow you to just turn those troops loose because you know what the troops going to do when they go in there. They, yeah, okay, so they're going to just decimate everything, you know? They're going to just roll over everything. And innocent people are going to get it too. See, that's the thing what people don't understand. Yeah, send them on in, send them on in. When they go in, everybody is a criminal. Everybody part of the problem. And here's the thing too. If they're going to send the, the troops in, make sure they roll on the police force too. Because there's a whole bunch of crooked cops out there too. So don't just go and send the troops in if you're going to send the men and just to roll on the people. Roll on those officers, those dirty officers also. It's a whole bunch of them. If you have a hard time finding them, I help you point them out. They're easy to spot. All you got to do is look at the ones who have a scar on their face when they look at black people. No more talk. What the haters talking about?